Every hour delay in detecting sepsis is about an 8% increase in mortality for our patients. Sepsis is sort of this nebulous disease, right? It has so many signs and symptoms that are similar to other issues like cardiogenic shock that it's very difficult to determine that a patient truly has sepsis without some sort of single test that exists. The first hour alone of recognition can impact a mortality rate at a significant percentage. It often trumps other ailments that aren't immediately life-threatening, but we always kind of have it in the back of our minds, is, is, this, is this sepsis or is this something else? And up until today, we've had no way of really ruling that piece out or ruling it in until now. So the IntelliCept test, it looks at 50,000 uh, pictures of your white cells as they move through the instrument. And it looks at the size of the white cells and looks at the formation of the white cells. And it looks at how well they move through the instrument to determine if they're deformed or not. And based on that is how we get the IntelliCept index. On that same tube of blood, we can run this test now, IntelliCept, that we can detect abnormal white cells, which now lead us down a path of sepsis instead of something else. We now have a way to very early on detect that you have a significant disease, a significant infection ongoing that we can very quickly treat, target, and implement to potentially save thousands of dollars in treatments, antibiotics, and hundreds of lives all around the state of Mississippi. So we're targeting the disease early and we're not doing things unnecessarily. And so we are excited to be the first in Mississippi uh, to have this test and be leaders in diagnosis of sepsis.